Yo, what is going on guys, it's New7 and in this video today we're going to be going through some different strategies and different methods for you to win a lot more of your 1v1 engagements in creative mode. So, of course a lot of the tips I'm going to be giving you today and strategies you can apply in game as well, but this is just going to be for those people who want to start winning more of those 1v1 creative fights against the friends, against random people. I'm just going to be showing you some different strategies of getting high ground at the start, um, different mid-game fight strategies and some of the strategies you, you guys may have seen on YouTube but I'm just going to compact it all into one video just to make it easier for a lot of people. So all I ask of you guys is just to drop a like down below as it just helps this video get out to more people and just helps a lot more people obviously get better at their 1v1 engagements so let's get right into it. So the way this video is going to go as well is it'll just be me showing you all the different strategies you can do in creative mode, things you can also practice by yourself, and then at the end I'm just going to throw in multiple different clips or 1v1 engagements where I have went up against different different people, really good players, and use a lot of the strategies we're going to go through in this video. So the first tip we're going to be going through is a way to get initial high ground at the start, and all it involves is just ramping up, you do two 90s, and then you put a roof, a floor, and then you build two walls, you come out to the side, okay, from here, your opponent is either gonna be somewhere around here, maybe doing another 90, you wanna flick a cone over, okay, so I know my cone, you know, let's say my opponent's like, a bit, got a bit more height, you know, you've gotta flick that cone over, so you might jump, flick that cone, this is what usually happens, they're usually just over at this angle, I flick a cone up, and then from here, obviously I'll do a few more 90s, and then you've got initial high ground because that cone right there is huge. It's very huge. But the problem is though with these 1v1 engagements, some people that can fall right into that trap every single time. Some people do their nights completely different and you're going to have to mix it up a bit. But obviously the, the point of this video obviously for the initial high ground is to show you different things you can do. So this might be one of the things you can do to get your opponent every time. However, you obviously I'm going to show you some different strategies in the video. You might find out that you need to do some of the other different strategies to actually win those fights. So another main tip you guys need to consider is the type of 90s you're doing. So usually people either do the right to left 90s, the left to right 90s, or the 90s that I've started doing now, which I found more success with, and I think are actually better for getting high ground quicker is uh, these 90s. I think they're called the Atlantis Metro 90s, I think. Don't quote me on that, but yeah. Uh, these are much smoother to do, and uh, if you change your dead zone, these are, in my opinion, the best 90s to do. Like, before I changed my dead zone, it was actually easy for me to perform the standard 90s and harder to do this. However, when I uh, changed my dead zone, it was actually easier to do this compared to the standard 90s because I noticed with the standard 90s now because my dead zone for some reason I phase under my um, my ramp a lot more compared to that one and I found more success doing these 90s so if you can start putting these into your build fights um, you'll, you'll start seeing you know huge differences and uh, a lot more success in your initial high ground at the start so who gains high ground first so finally guys just the last tip on initial high ground at the start and I'll see Mongrel use this strategy a lot and all it is, it's just incorporating normal 90s. So you go up one ram, uh, you do one, two, three 90s, flick up, one, two, three. And then from here, after you flick, uh, roof and a floor, double edit through. Or from there, if you didn't want to do, if you just didn't want to double edit through, then you could always move to the side, like I've showed you before. And then from here, double 90 out, cone your opponent off, and then continue your 90s. So that is the last thing we're going to be going through in terms of initial high ground. So this next tip we're going to be going through is a tip I learned from Mongrel as well. Um, he used it in a 1v1 against Atlantis Mitro and it worked wonders for him. And I did it myself in a 1v1, you'll see at the end of the video where I used it. And it just throws your opponent off, confuses your opponent, they don't expect it. It's a new kind of strategy and it's really good at just taking your opponent down from high ground. So all you do is obviously you just spam a load of cones, um, some of you guys may have seen this actually but there's probably some people who actually didn't think to do this. So you just spam a load of cones. Okay, and then I'll just show you what this looks like from above. So from above, if you look down, it's like it's a bit confusing. It's like what's 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 the opponent doing? It's not it's not easy to, you know, to really just jump down on your opponent. You know, you've got to either break through one of these cones or jump down to the side. So 
it's it is difficult. So if I just get rid of this now. Okay. So then as you can see, then all you have to do, literally to take your opponent down, is you can just edit this. Edit that. Your opponent's gonna come down, he's not gonna realise it. You can then edit a Cohen. And then you've got easy high ground. I, I used it today. There might be someone out in the comments who can probably give better word than as to why this works, but it does. And um, yeah, I mean, because like the guy was doing it to me after I did it to him. He started doing it to me, and it does confuse you. You start thinking, what's what's the guy doing? You jump down, and then obviously it can bait you to jumping down, or you're just gonna get knocked down anyway. So it's a new strategy for guys. Should start using in um, bringing your opponent down from high ground. So one of the next things you guys really want to start incorporating into your gameplay and that's constantly protecting yourself when building up and that's building a floor or a roof over your head and I've seen this in Ghost Bizzle's video and all it basically is is just as you're building up you build a floor you know constantly you're doing this strategy here move to the side other side and by doing this it's just going to allow full protection you know constantly you're never really going to constantly keep getting here, you're going to make it much more difficult for your opponent. Well, so this is much better, so if you play on a higher sensitivity, building sense, especially for console or controller, so you need to bear that in mind. And with this new dead zone thing as well, by the way guys, playing a bit higher building sense isn't as bad because you can actually control things much, much better, much easier. So, this is huge guys, I really urge you to start doing this in your 1v1s if you don't already. Um, but yeah, this is uh, one of the most important tips today. So the next two tips we're going to be going through are very important and a huge in winning a lot of your 1v1s. Uh, they're, they're quite similar, so I just combine them basically into one section. And all it is is like when you're double ramping now like this, it's a reverse move. So you basically double ramping now, you come out, you build a wall like such, build a wall, you do nice off from here. And obviously your opponent is, is confused because they were originally tracking you from this direction and now you've come out to the side, tricked them and got high ground basically for free. Meaning it's just going to make it that bit extra difficult for them to, to still maintain high ground. So obviously with this as well you can also mix it up by spamming just LB. So just putting two cones. So for here a cone in front of you and a cone on the ramp you just place. Spinning around, you do the same thing and then you're 90 out from there. So obviously the next tip as well guys, you know, which is somewhat similar, it's very it's, it's very similar actually. And uh, it's when you put, you basically you want to spam your roofs, you put a roof in front of you, you edit it like so, and you come out, so your opponent obviously is just going to think you're going to carry on, and then you come out to the side, and you build walls like so, and then you just do your 90s. So Marto's actually posted this today, and I thought I might as well just put this in here, as um, you know, I've done it a few times, and it is, it is pretty good. So obviously it just confuses your opponent again. So ramp out, Hold on. so you double ramping out, edit it like so, come out to the side and you can start doing some 90s. It's just another variation, you know, you want to start practicing just to confuse your opponent. So once you've seen all these tips, you might then want to just start free building, so just practicing your double edits. These variations of 90s, coming to the side, 90 and off again, practicing, you know, protecting yourself from above. Building the cones, coming to the side. And then you might want to practice, you know, your side jumps as well. And then that new strategy.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope now you've learned something new and you're going to win a lot more of your 1v1 engagements. So all I ask of you guys is, like I said, just drop a like down below. The more likes you get on this video, the more people who can be aware of these different strategies you can use. I'm well aware there's a lot of the strategies I've said in this video are already up on YouTube, but I thought it'd be a good idea just to compact it all into one video, just making it easier for some people out there who just want to purely learn how to win more 1v1s in creative mode. So... I hope you enjoyed this video and also just remember to use my supporter creator code which is NUU7 in the item shop and it just helps me out that bit extra. So I will see you guys in the next one.